Hello, today we're gonna try to build some Norwegian houses in The Sims 4, so let's go. Now, my plan for today is to make three different houses. One of the houses is gonna be a super traditional cabin, mm -hmm. and the second one is gonna be the average Norwegian home that you might see today, all right? That's the second home. <laughs> and then the third house is gonna be what I like to call the Scandi home. And what is the Scandi home? Well, it's this style, you know, the Scandinavian interior design shenanigans. So if you're not from the Nordic countries, you might think of Scandi. Scandinavian as this style, which is not <laughs> what I think of <laughs> when I think of Scandinavian style at all. I think of something completely different, you know, so that's what we're gonna do today. And by the way, just a little disclaimer, when I build these typical Norwegian houses, there are of course, of course, a lot of similarities with the rest of the Scandinavian countries and even the Nordic countries and even some European countries, maybe the whole world, I don't know. But <laughs> since I'm only from Norway and I'm not a historian, I'm not an interior designer, I can only speak for myself as what is typical Norwegian. So, yeah, you know, you get my drift. If I say, oh, this is so typical Norwegian, you can take the whole Nordic countries in there, okay? But yeah, that's a little disclaimer. Oh yeah, and another disclaimer. I just had the flu, which was fantastic for me. <laughs> just had the flu, so my brain is still a little foggy. It's not really there yet. <laughs> so if I say some sentences that make no sense at all, I'm sorry, but my brain, my brain is trying its hardest, okay? It is. All right, so here we are in Moonwood Mill, the most Norwegian world of them all. I mean, we even got that Greg guy that has the surname Lundvik. Which, oddly enough, is a town in a Norwegian kids series. What is it again? It's a boat called Elias, and the town is called Lundvik. So I don't know what that is about. Any hoozles, let's build our first house. And this is gonna be a very, very traditional cabin. It is. Now, what do I mean by a very traditional Norwegian cabin? These cabins. <laughs> you can see them. The cabins that has the frickety frackety grass on the roof that look like this. Hope I'm showing this on the screen, or this is gonna be very embarrassing for me. Let's start with the little cabin. Wait, what? I am so confused. Can you see the shadow on the ground? But there's absolutely nothing here. What? Excuse me. But anyways, I, I made a box. And I think I'm gonna make a little box in front. Just for the shed. Like so. Let's put this on the little foundation as well. Yeah. And of course, we can't forget about the grass. This has to be a grass roof. Well, that was very 2D. Um, um, oh, okay. I think this is close enough. Yeah. Now, you might be wondering, Nora, why is this super, super fancy column here on this shabby, shabby cabin? Well, that's because a lot of old cabins has these super detailed columns when the rest of the cabin is kind of low running down. Why that is? I don't know. Maybe they like to carve. They had a lot of spare time and they like to carve. But yeah, here are my windows. Just a very, very simple placement. This is a very, very simple cabin. And now it's time to put the grass on the roof. I do feel so. Am I even ready for this? I don't know. Oh my gosh. That was one down. Just a billion to go. Yeah, yo. All right. It's a little while later. There is a progress. I'm still, <laughs> still have lots to do. And here we have the grass roof. Oh, there's a little bald spot right there, but I shall fix that later. Don't you worry. But here it is in all its glory. I am already tired and I've only done the roof on the first house. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's start decorating the front garden, shall we? Oh, we shan't. Now for cabin landscaping, that's on the mountain. It's not gonna be manicured lawns, okay? <laughs> that, that is not. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something. If I can freaking find the bush that I want to place down. Hello. But yeah, it's gonna be a very, very uncanny cap garden with a little wooden bench, maybe a tree log, some stepping stones. You know, you're in the cabin on the mountain. Are you gonna bring your lawnmower with you? I don't think so. so that was the front garden. And now we're gonna do the backyard. Something weird happened with my throat right there. I don't know what happened, but something happened. <laughs> but let's do the backyard. Now, what is the most important thing that you need in the backyard of your cabin? Of course, it's the utodo. What is that in English? I don't know. The outside toilet? Who knows? <laughs> now, since this is a very old cabin, it means that there is no bathroom in the cabin. All right? There's no bathroom at all. So I'm not really sure where you're supposed to shower. Because frankly, it's been a long, long time since I've been in, in an old cabin. So I don't remember. So I asked one of my friends who has a very, very old cabin and they have a little to do. And they said that they shower at the center, the community center. So that didn't help me at all. And I talked to another friend who has a shower room right next to the toilet room. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, normally the toilets in an little to do would look like this, but I have no idea how to make that in the Sims. So, you know, gotta deal with what you have. And then we cannot forget the picture of the king above the toilet. Why? 
why you ask? It's just nice to look at the king while you're on the toilet. I don't know. And then for the rest of the backyard, I'm just gonna have some little sitting places and uh, make it a little bit overgrown. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, beautiful, amazing. All right, ta -ta -ta -ta. I think it's time that we begin with the layout. So this is the entryway. There's the kids' bedroom, primary bedroom, living room, kitchen, the shed. It's down there. Ta-ta! Now, first of all, I think I'm just gonna make everything this wood wallpaper. And I'm just gonna use this flooring for everything. For now, at least. Okay, now for the interior. Now, this is the very, very hard part. <laughs> because very old traditional Norwegian furniture has something that's called Rus Marling. Rose paint, which is this type of shenanigan, this type of pattern. Um, that's a very specific pattern that not a lot of furniture in The Sims has. But then I found out that the movie Hangout Stuff Pack has some furniture that kinda has that pattern. I mean, it isn't similar at all, but it, it has some flowers on it, you know? So I think I'm gonna use a lot of furniture from that pack. But as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of furniture. So I had another look. And then I found out that the For Rent expansion pack has some furniture <laughs> with the flower pattern on it. Now I know that this pack is inspired by the Southeast Asian culture. I know, but <laughs> it's the closest thing that I have to the Rusumarling pattern. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use a lot of furniture from that pack. That's um, that's my plan. So I think for the doors, I'm actually gonna use this door because that, that has that vibe, that Rusumarling vibe. Yeah, I like that. Now for the entryway, okay, so we need a place to put our clothes in. <laughs> I thought about this one. Now it isn't very traditional, but it has some skis in it. I think that's allowed. And then I'm gonna put up this shelf where we're gonna put our shoes on. Well, because we do like to have shoes. What am I even saying? I don't know. And then the rest is just gonna be normal hallway stuff. You know, nothing nothing more special about that. We got a little chair. And there's me, Evan. You can't forget about that. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the kitchen. Now, for the kitchen. I first thought of going, you know, very 1800s with the kitchen. But then I thought, why not make a classic cabin kitchen instead? So that's what I'm gonna do. Now for the fridge, we have to use this fridge. I mean, that's a very Norwegian fridge, I feel like I do. And now, if you can see from the reference photo that I put up, somewhere you can see that on the tiles there's this little flowers tiny tiny little flowers that's very very common in old kitchens <laughs> so you know i thought of taking these flowers and then just size them down and put them on the tiles just like so and then just some more naked and everywhere and then a very important thing in very traditional homes are these copper bowls plates that's on the wall just very randomly everywhere i don't know why they're just everywhere oh and then we can't forget about the radiator that's in every single room and then just a very standard dining table. So that was the kitchen. Wowie, wow, beautiful kitchen. <laughs> Let's move on to the primary bedroom, shall we? Oh, we shall. Now for the bed. I think maybe this, it has some red in it. Looks old, why not? And then for a dresser, I thought we could use this one. And now we need some very, very ugly curtains. So this one it is. And I'm gonna put up this table as the nightstand. And then of course, I'm just gonna put some naked and on there. Ooh, and then we have this mirror. That looks nice and ugly. I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm thinking of putting this desk here. So why not? Why why the freak not? <laughs> and then just another radiator. Can't forget about that. Let's move on to the kids' bedroom. Now, something that I really, really freaking freaking want to try out is something that's called a scarp seng. What is that called in English? I don't know, but it <laughs> closet bed. That's not right, is it? Okay, so I think if I just put up a little half wall, then I need some spandrels. And oh, oh, okay. Okay, for some reason, the spandrel from Island Living matches the best with the old Scandinavian style. I don't know why, but it does. So I'm gonna go for that. Okay, if I just put my column in here, then I take my tool mod, I squeeze it over there, and I duplicate it, and I squeeze it. Oh, shoot. Okay, my columns is doing the glitch thing that's been happening in my Sims games lately. Because if I zoom in a little bit now, the columns disappear. But 10 minutes ago, it didn't do that at all. I could zoom right in there, but now it's glitching out. So I think I'm gonna do the columns in the end of the build, because maybe the problem has fixed itself by then. I don't know, maybe. But let's pretend, oh, let's pretend that everything is okay. But I know. I'm gonna put up my little night table and just some little naked knacks on there. Then, oh my gosh, we need a little toy box. Yeah, this dresser might work. It's nice and blue. And then on this little, uh, what is this called again? Stool. I thought that we maybe could have this little party because it has some flowers on it. And um, you might need it, maybe. All right, let's move on to the living room. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know what that was. First of all, we need a couch. And I think this, <laughs> it has to be that one. And then we also need a fireplace. Now, I would like 
like to have one of those really freaking old fireplaces but um we don't have anything similar like that i think maybe this one not happy with that but um oh, okay and then maybe just a red rocking chair right there what is that doing there excuse me oh and then the table rickety frackety table i think this can work i mean it has a mirror on it but um Maybe I can block that out with some uh, some shelves. Yeah, I can do that. I can work for me. And then I think just maybe this table. Just right in the corner. And put some nicky knacks on there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I put some more copper bronze stuff on the wall. Because apparently we like that. Apparently we do. And um, I have to fix this table. I do. Oh, that's going to be annoying. I'm not finished yet. But something along the lines of that. That could work. But yeah, got some candles. That's disappearing into the wood. <laughs> and of course, the most important thing to have in a cabin. The board games. It's not a cabin day unless you've played freaking Ludo. All right, let's move on to the shed. So the most important thing you need to have in the shed is the skis. There you go. There's your skis. And then we can just have this little woodworking table. Yeah, to chop up your wood. And then just a little place to have your wood. It's kind of weird that it has a roof on it, but um, whatever. And then just some more little woody stuff. That's the shed. All right, I am now done with the little cabin. The little traditional cabin. Oh, me lord. It's looking so cute, actually. All right, I'm gonna do the full-on house tour in the end, so look out for that. It might pop onto you when you're least expecting it, so better watch out. All righty, righty, roll. <laughs> Let's start building the average Norwegian home. So here are some inspiration pictures. As you can see, they're very square. They're very boxy. They have some colors. I mean, there are a ton of different Norwegian builds, of course, but this red class build so norwegian so scandinavian i live in a red house <laughs> i do so let's do that one that's my inspiration so let's start with a um with a box there's my box Moish. we do like our box houses <laughs> we do all right so for the roof i'm just gonna start off with this gabled roof like so and then another gabled roof that goes the other way i think that's the most classic yeah that's <laughs> looking very classic norwegian i must say i'm also just gonna put on these friggity frackety um what are these called again i don't remember what's the word for it Nora Varanda and on the front here it's pretty normal to just have a teeny tiny front porch like this and then just in front here we just have a teeny tiny little roof there's a teeny tiny roof some don't even have a roof at all I don't think we have a roof no and then we can't forget about the red paint wow and then for windows I mean I think it has to be this one just nothing fancy just that window and then for the door which is um the hardest part of this it's the doors there's a lot of the doors in the sims it's um of course very American American you see the door handles? They are round. They have some round doorknobs, which we do not have. We have this door handle, which I know. So I need to find a door that has that. Can I find one? All right, I think this door right here is the best contender that we have, really. Yeah, this is the house. Wah wee wah wah. Little Norwegian house. Now we're in Norway. They love their trash bins. <laughs> we love recycling. We love to separate our trash. I'm not going to go into the whole trash system. That's uh, for another day. But I had a little thinkity thought that I could make a little communal trash area that some neighborhoods have my neighborhood has a trash communal area <laughs> so i'm gonna do that so i do believe i get one of these and just size them down like so and then i just try to put them on top of each other maybe something will work and just like that we have our little trash area whoa whoa oh shoot i can't forget about the roof the roof is the most important thing get on the roof nora all right here's the roof beautiful magnificent and now i'm just gonna do the same with our mailboxes we do love our communal stuff and then for the rest of the garden there's nothing really special about the Norwegian garden? Not really. It's very simple. Nothing fancy. And here's another trash bin. We love our trash bins. All right, let's move on to the back gardens. So I think what I'm gonna do is make a garage. Now you would normally have the garage next to your house <laughs> and not in the backyard, but um, that's not gonna happen today. But yeah, just a simple garage with a door in the back. And then on the inside of the garage. Now, of course, this varies from family to family. Oh, freaking course. We don't all have the same garage, okay? But what I've seen in my life of a uh, Norwegian. <laughs> it's so normal to have a big old trash bag of plastic bottles. Because in Norway, we of course do pumping. Pump? What a frick frack is that in English? To normally just have a big old bag of bottles and stuff that you collect up to go to the store and get your pump back. So um, let's do that. And then just a rack of skis in the garage. That's also pretty normal. And it's also normal to have an extra freezer in the garage. So I'm just going to put up these and pretend that it's a freezer. <laughs> and then some bikes for the whole family. And that's the garage. Ta-ta! 
and then the rest of the stuff in the garden. Put up a little grill. We love our grill. And then a table with these plastic chairs. I mean, classic. And then, of course, a little clothing line. Because we love to put our clothes out to dry in the summer. That was a bad garden. Let's move on inside. All right, I made a quick old layout of the house. I used one of my friend's houses as inspiration. So if you have a problem with this layout, take it up with my friend, not with me. So, <laughs> so here's the entryway. And then we have a bathroom, living room, kitchen, another hallway. Then we have a kid's bedroom, another kid's bedroom, primary bedroom, and another bathroom. Oh la 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 la. And first off, before we begin with anything, we need to put our wallpaper on. And I do believe this. Oh yes. <laughs> just wood paneling everywhere in every single room. Everywhere. And then just some normal wooden flooring. Just this one maybe. Eh, maybe. All right. Let's begin with the entryway. And I'm going to put in some tiles because um, that's good to have. And then over here in this little nook, I am going to put in the closet. Because that's um, what a lot of people have. A full-on closet in the hallway. And oh, by the way, I had to do this with the stairs. Because the inspiration that I have from my friend's home, they have the stairs like this. So I had to block off that bang over there. Not my problem, but um, there you go. All right. So I'm going to put in <laughs> my freaking shoe racks. Can't forget about that. Me lovely, lovely shoe racks. <laughs> and then just a random radiator. We have them everywhere. The freaking radiators. And then I'm just going to put up these little hanging shelf thingies. And put some clothes on there. And then just some random knick and knacks on the top there. Oh yeah, and this is going to be the bathroom. So of course, we need to have a light switch on the outside of the bathroom. Why? I don't know. But that's how it is. And that's not how the light switches in Norway look like. But um, okay. Then I'm just going to put a random chair in the corner. With some little clutter. And then, <laughs> over here, I thought that we could have a little bin. That's full of cardboard and paper and stuff. That's something you need. Because every time you use a cardboard, you have to put it on that pile. So you don't have to go outside in the trash bin every time you know so yeah i think i'm gonna get this basket now it has you know pillows and some blankets in there but i think i'm gonna hide that up with some teabag stuff i mean you can see a little bit of the carpet but um what am i supposed to do about that nothing over here we can have a little table and the mirror this one might do yeah and then just some little naked knacks on that table just like so all righty let's move on to the kitchen whoa, whoa, whoa. i mean we have to get this fridge again <laughs> the single door fridge and then for the stove we need to get an electrical stove because that's the norm and i mean Yikes. I think we have to use this one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, that one isn't that bad. I think we have to use that one. <laughs> I do. And now, the most important thing in a Norwegian kitchen. It's the waffle maker. What? You know what they say. A home without a waffle maker is just a house. All right. And you also need a kettle and some sort of coffee machine. Because we do love our coffee. We freaking do. And then, it's time for trash bins. We usually have one for normal trash. <laughs> and then we have a small little trash bin that looks like this. Yeah, we put our little food scraps in and then just another radiator in the corner you don't know and then over here i'm just gonna put in a table i mean this one's fine for nora and there's some very basic chairs yes there you go now it's time for the living room and for the living room i'm gonna go with this type of couch it's, uh, a lot of people in norway have this type of couches and oh um this is gonna be a big living room uh <laughs> hold on wait okay i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make an entrance to the basement right here because that's always a uh, normal to have we need a basement in this house right, and then the most important important thing that you have in the living room is one of these which you would think that you would have in front of the couch but no you just have it in the most random spot ever so i'm gonna put it there ta-ta <laughs> and then we need a little coffee table this one might work and then a tv table and a tv and then of course you know the drill i'm gonna put some naked knacks on the tv table wow and this freaking lamp i i don't like that lamp but i know a lot of people who has that lamp and oh my gosh all right and then i am thinking of giving them some cat stuff i know a lot of people who has cats so gonna give them a cat let's move on to the bathroom and now we're gonna put in the most important thing for a bathroom and that is the washing machine yes we have our washing machine in the bathroom just the way life intended it to be and then a shower it's a very basic shower nothing spectacular and also i need a toilet yes that toilet with the buttons on top and there you go here is das bathroom beautiful magnificent let's move on to the upstairs now something that i'm gonna do in this hallway some of you guys are not gonna like at all but i am gonna put in these types of walls there is some reference pictures of those types of walls they're literally just walls that hasn't been painted they're not like the modern eco wood beams like this that's all fancy and modern no these are literally just planks that hasn't been painted all right so i think i am gonna put in a bookshelf from ikea <laughs> this one and then some more nicky knacks in there <laughs> like so and then just a little table over here that matches the walls completely that you have inherited from your grandma. And then over here, you would have a china cabinet that also matches the walls perfectly. And yes, again, you also 
also inherited this from your grandma. Love you, grandma. All right, let's put some Nikini knacks on this one. There you go, there you go. All right, so let's move on to the primary bedroom, which is gonna be magical. And now the double bed. This is so freaking hard because these beds are so American. Surprise, surprise, that an American game would have American beds. But <laughs> the norm in Norway is to have a bed that doesn't have a headboard. And all of these beds have a headboard. I mean, except for like this, but come on. So what am I gonna do? I think maybe just this one. And then I just hide the headboard in there like that. Good enough for me. And then on the other side here, that I know that a lot of people have a full row of these IKEA closets like this. And then just some more knickety knacks everywhere. Just normal stuff like that. Right, so let's move on to this room right here. The kids' bedroom. So first of all, gonna put in the radiator over here. That's important. <laughs> and then I'm thinking of putting up a bank bed. Now this bank bed has to be very, very basic. And it has to be from Ikea. Like this. Oof, yes. Beautiful. And then just a desk under there. Yes. And then I'm gonna put in this dresser that they have got from their grandmother. And then for the toys. I mean, it's not really that many Norwegian toys in here, I gotta be honest. But maybe this doll house. Maybe. And then right here we can have a bookshelf. And then a toy chest. Just right there. And I'm actually gonna give them a football lamp. Or a soccer lamp. Because as a kid, you're either obsessed with football or you don't care at all. There's no in between. So there you go. I was not obsessed with football. I can tell you that. <laughs> and then just some more Nikini knacks. Am I gonna give them an iPad? I can give them one of those. There you go. You're an iPad kid now. <laughs> okay, so for the teen bedroom, I am gonna take inspiration from one of my school friends who had this exact bedroom. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, here's the bed. And just... Oh, no. Don't move it, Nora. Just some standard curtains like that. And then a nightstand from Ikea. <laughs> this is gonna be a very Ikea bedroom. And then a desk from Ikea with a chair from Ikea. And then we can't forget about the radiator. And then the white dresser from Ikea with, of course, some nickety knacks. Oh, what happened there? I have to fix that. Like show. And then a laptop with, of course, some more nickety knacks. And that is the teen bedroom. Ta-ta! I like it. All right, let's move on to the bathroom. And there is a random wall sitting out there. I mean, but Jibo Joe, Nora. All right, let's do the bathroom. Just a normal standard shower. And then again, just a normal toilet. And then I thought for this sink, I'm going to make the sink that we have in our bathroom, which is going to be so exciting. I mean, you get Norwegian sink content on YouTube for free. Who would have thunk it? But <laughs> in our bathroom, we have a cabinet right here. That's a lot smaller, but that's the best I can do. And then on the side here, we just have a little light like so with a plank over it like that. Now the shelf would be in the same color as everything else, but that's too much to ask for in The Sims. It's too much, but it's like that. And then we have a mirror. It would be like this, but that's, oh no, that's too long. Wonderful. What else can I get? Oh, yikes. What is Nora supposed to do in this situation? What are you going to do, Nora? All right, I'm going to put in this mirror. It doesn't really look like this at all, but um, I don't want to anymore. That it is. Oh, that's right. We need to have a little litter box. So there you go. I don't know. <laughs> sure. That was the bathroom. Very standard, normal bathroom. Wow. All right, let's move on to the last room of this house, which is the basement. Blah. So let's put in the flooring. And I know exactly what type of flooring I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for this. Oh, linoleum flooring. Mm. Beautiful. Amazing. Love that. And then in the basement, you could have a water heater and then just a clothing rack and some shelving unit with yet again some naked necks. And that is the very basic basement. Wow. So yes, that was the average Norwegian home. Wowie, wow, wow. Beautiful, magnificent. Do not look at these rooms. It had to be done for the ambiance. It had to be done. But now we are going to move on to the Scandi house. And I am really nervous for this build because um, I'm not a modern simmer. I don't build modern houses. It's not my cup of tea at all, really. So, I mean, let's just see how it goes. So first off, what is Scandinavian interior design? Well, Google says... That Scandinavian design expresses its beauty in a simple, functional, and warm decoration style, which mixes white, neutral colors, and natural woods. Simple lines are combined with a clean and fresh aesthetic to create cozy and light interiors. And this is kind of funny to me because I've seen a lot of people describe Scandinavian design as cozy. And that's the opposite of what I think of. I just, I do not think that this is warm and cozy, you know? This is so cold to me. I would be freezing my freaking butt up in the winter times if I had this home, you know? And they have no curtains. What? And there's apparently some Scandinavian architecture. Oh, I mean, that actually is some Scandinavian architecture. I didn't think I would see you here. Nice. But yeah, there's an honorable mention. And especially the flat roofs. Where in Scandinavia did you get the flat roofs from? Because <laughs> do you know how much rain and snow that we get? Do you know? <laughs> I'm sure they have some type of draining system with that flat roof. I'm sure of it. But it's 
it's just not practical at all. But yeah, I'm gonna take some inspiration from that and it's gonna be fun. So <laughs> I have started building something and I just, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. All right, I think, oh, <laughs> I have no words. I think I'm starting to get somewhere now. I have this super long overhang in the front and then no overhang in the back. Good luck with the water damage. <laughs> all righty, tighty, let's put in some windows. And I'm already regretting my decision on this, but it has to be these. Oh, lovely. All right, I put in all the windows. This is how it's looking so far. Oh, nice. I love it. Let's uh, start building the front garden. First of all, let's just put in the fence. And then right in front of here, if I take up some little half walls, like so, I'm just going to put some plants in there to make a little plant box. Ta-ta! A little plant box. And then right here, I mean, let's put up some chairs for them. Some really uncomfortable chairs. Just these ones. Warm and cozy. Now on to the backyard. I mean, first of all, we got a fences in. And I think I'm going to use this fence because I've seen that a lot. These wooden fences. So, I mean, let's uh, crack on with that. And then this door for the outside. Yeah, good enough for me. And then just some nicky knacks on that little porch. And then we need some more stepping stones everywhere. I love the stepping stones. Yes. And then on the reference picture that I'm looking at right now, because <laughs> I have no idea how scanty gardens look like, but they have a little fountain right here with some gravel, it looks like. Oh. And then just some bushes, some very nice bushes. <laughs> if I can put in the bushes. Oh no. <laughs> right, let's move on to the inside. And oh yeah, it's this, this layout. So I'm thinking kitchen, some dining room space right there, living room, and upstairs just have hallway, bathroom, and a bedroom. Yeah, like it so well. I just put in some very plain flooring and uh, wallpaper, because uh, that's what they all have. <laughs> right, let's begin with the kitchen. Oh no, mama. All right, I've looked through all of the freaking counters, and I think I'm gonna go with this one, because this one has the freakity frackity waterfall island counters. So I'm gonna go for that. And I think I'm gonna go with this fridge. There you go. Nice and wood-like. Okay, I need to take the kitchen one tile in, because this is looking ridiculous. So what am I gonna do? What is Anora supposed to do? Maybe, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, that looks a lot better, actually. I'm gonna do that. I am so smart today. I do really think so. Today is Nora's day of smartness. Wawa, here is the kitchen. And you might be wondering, Nora, where is the freaking stove? Well, I'll tell you that. There is the freaking stove. <laughs> and now we need a dining table. I do think I'm gonna go with this dining table because it has some skinny little legs. Then we need some skinny little chairs like these. Wow. Beautiful. Magnificent. And then a carpet. A contemporary carpet for the dining table. Oh, that's too big. That was too... No, I abort. Abort mission. And there we go. A little dining table. And then by the entryway, I'm gonna put a little table. You know, you still need a table to put your stuff on. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So and for the living room, we're gonna start with the couch, which Oh, this one. I don't like this couch, but um, my couch it is. And then just some very uncomfortable chairs. I mean, <laughs> magical. I made something really magical in here today. I I really feel like I have, you know. Ooh, and then the very very funky lamp like that. Yes. Ooh, okay. Now we need some lines on the wall because um, I I have seen that they love their wooden lines like so. I'm I'm gonna be nice and give them some curtains, even though a lot of the pictures I've seen don't have any curtains at all. Why? I don't know. But I'm gonna give them some curtains. I am gonna be nice. Gonna give them these curtains. Very good. And then just this one, just because it has some skinny little legs. Love it. <laughs> and in this corner, we can put up a shelf. Oh, that's big. Maybe a little smaller. Oh, it's very dark in here. Whatever. I'm, I'm gonna fix that up. <laughs> all right. Here is the living room in all its glory. So for the upstairs hallway, I mean, we can, we can put in some railings first, you know, so people don't fall down the stairs. And then I think to not make this hallway completely useless, I am gonna put in the desk. This one right here with its skinny little legs. And then a weird old desk chair. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna put in some curtains in here too. We're gonna be super nice today. Giving them all the curtains that they want. Wow. All right, let's move into the <laughs> primary bedroom. And I'm gonna start with the accent wall. Beautiful. Magnificent. I love this accent wall already. And then I'm gonna put me bed here. Like so. And then just some nightstands. Very minimalistic nightstands. I do tell you. And of course, more nicky knacks. All right, so for over here, we need a little dresser. Maybe, maybe this one. In just plain old wood. It has some skinny legs. That looks nice and cute. And then we need a little table. That one, of course. And then just pop in a mirror. Boop. And then some more curtains. I mean, we all need curtains in our lives. We just need the curtains. Now for the bathroom. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be such a difficult bathroom because we have some very, very big windows. I see, I see, I see. What if this is the toilet room? So it becomes a little bit more smaller? Maybe? And then we can add the bathtub here. And then the sink here. Oh no. What about the mirror? Eh, they're just funky like that, you know? They're gonna have the mirror somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know. So we got a little toilet in the little toilet room. And then I'm... Oh! And then I'm actually gonna put up the curtains first before I do anything else. Please clip to the window. Oh. Very beautiful. Don't even ask me what this stuff is. I had a panic moment and I threw some stuff on the floor. 
Anyways, I thought that we could take this shelf. Oh, but jeebus me. And this shelf and put it on, put it on the bathtub like that. And then just have some little stuff on that. Ta-ta. Very cozy, nice moment. Alrighty, tidy. That was the bathroom. Um, let's not talk about the sink situation. Let's not talk about it. But, um, there it is. There it freaking is. Alright, that was the Scandi build. All done and dusted. Wowie. Wawa. Pourquoi? Now, is this my style? No. <laughs> is it your style? Who's to say? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I like it for what it is. I mean, it definitely isn't my best build. But you know, I have nothing more to say about that. Alright, so now it's time for a little speed building decoration. Where I put in all the little nickety necks in the house. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you do not enjoy that, then um, you can uh, skip to the results, I guess. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> but yeah, here we are. Here we freaking are. Now, I know I'm gonna get some comments on why I didn't make my own house as the normal Norwegian house. And the reason for that is, as some of you may know, my house is so weird and it just wouldn't work with this at all. It just, it just wouldn't because it's, it's weird. I have tried so many times now to build my own house in The Sims and just, it doesn't work at all. But maybe one day I will try my hardest to make it. I will. But anyways, I've gotten some questions about me and CZ. ZZ has some content. I don't use any CC in my builds. I just, I don't do that. Now, I have nothing against CZ at all. Like, you should definitely download CZ instead of buying stuff packs and kits and all of that shebang back. 100%. You should do that. But personally, for myself, I just, I do not like CZ. Mainly because every time I have downloaded CZ, it somehow messes up my game. <laughs> it's just a whole stressful situation for me. So I just, I don't enjoy building with CZ at all. It's just not for me, okay? It's, it's really not. <laughs> and also, if there's one thing you need to know about me, is that I get overwhelmed so quickly. That's just who I am as a person. That, that is Nora. She gets overwhelmed. And it's just with CC and stuff. Since there's literally no limit to what you can download with a CC. Like, there's no limit at all to what you can download with CC. I used to spend hours just looking at CC, downloading CC, and getting so stressed out. Because I needed to find the perfect hairstyle, the perfect furniture. And that whole experience, it was just a little bit too much for me. So, you know, that's also one of the reasons why Nora shouldn't get CC. But I do use mods for this game. That I do. Just to make the whole building experience a lot nicer for me so I don't explode every time I try to build something. So the mods that I use is the tool mod by Twisted Maxi and then I use the better build by by Twisted Maxi and then I use G-Shade which is um the shaders that you see in my house stores at the end. I don't know much about that so I don't know. I just I don't know. And yeah that's all the mods that I use just to make my experience a lot better. <laughs> yeah I think I'm done with the <laughs> speed building now I hope so at least because I am done talking. So let's go to the house tour. Hello and welcome to the house tour. And wow, what a journey it has been with these three Norwegian houses. Oh, you could say Nordic houses, Scandinavian houses. Used to say, I don't know. I'm not an expert. <laughs> I gotta say, I really enjoyed this house building today. I love the vibes that we have created in this room. Now, I do gotta say, I've probably missed some very typical Norwegian stuff that I should have put in the houses. I probably missed some of them. But I'll try my best to remember the most of them. But you know, it was kind of a challenge to make the two Norwegian houses because a lot of the furniture is very American based furniture, especially the traditional cabin. I mean, thankfully, I had the movie hangout stuff pack and the for rent pack to save me for that one. And oh, hello. What do you think the hat? What do you mean you? I am dog sitting. This is not my dog, <laughs> but I am dog sitting. That's what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> Where was I? I don't know. Well, I hope you enjoyed the houses. I don't know what to call this video because I don't want to call the video real Scandinavian house versus the fake one because, you know, the modern Scandi house, it isn't fake, you know? It is its own design style. It's obviously taken things from the old Scandinavian things and then made it modern. So it's all very real, but um, I don't know where I'm going with this. I have a dog to take care of. <laughs> but yeah, it's just some things that are very different, I feel like, but I can't remember what. But all right, that was it for the house tour. And this is the outro. Welcome to the <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed this video. I did. And don't forget to like, subscribe, because it really does help me out. So, um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. And, um, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye! Goodbye!